Hey there, science lovers, and welcome to a Drug Design Minute. I'm Siren, and today we have exciting news on our quest to find small molecules that bind to the KLHDC2E3 ligase. If you remember, about a year ago, we ran a series of puzzles to tackle this fascinating challenge. Well, we've made some significant progress, and we can't wait to share it with you. First, let's recap the goal. Just like we did with VHL, we aim to discover drug-like molecules that bind to KLHDC2. These molecules would be instrumental in developing a new class of molecular regulators called Protax. However, unlike VHL, there wasn't a readily available small molecule that bound to KLHDC2, only a naturally occurring peptide. But fear not, our fantastic collaborators at Broenjo Ingelheim have been hard at work analyzing the results from the original KLHDC2 puzzle series. Due to certain logistical challenges, we couldn't synthesize the full designs at the time. Additionally, the direct path from peptide to small molecule proved difficult and risky. Instead, BI's medicinal chemists identified 17 core motifs that proved promising for further development. The best part? These motifs could be easily obtained. The team at BI then used a powerful technique called saturation transfer difference NMR. This technique is incredibly sensitive and it allowed them to confirm the binding of several molecules to KLHDC2. They even tested how well these molecules competed with the naturally occurring peptide, ensuring that the binding occurred at the desired location. Here's a list of all the fragment molecules that were tested. Pay attention to the ones marked with stars as they showed significant binding activity. With this newfound knowledge, they dove headfirst into the challenging task of determining crystal structures of these bound complexes. And guess what? They succeeded! We obtained crystals with compound 12 bound to the KLHDC2 protein, and they revealed that the binding had occurred exactly as we had hoped. Take a look at the left image, which displays the major interactions between the small molecule and the KLHDC2 protein. Now, on the right, you can see the comparison between the small molecule in green and the naturally occurring peptide in cyan in terms of their binding modes. Exciting stuff, right? Based on these incredible results, we're thrilled to announce that we're launching a brand new KLHDC2 puzzle series. This time, we want to build on the small molecule that we discovered. We'll keep the core structure and existing hydrogen bonds intact, but we'll aim to create additional interactions with the protein. Thanks for watching! I'm Siren, and as always, keep exploring this fascinating world of science.